Hey guys, how's it going? It's Murder here with a episode of Current Events. We actually haven't done one of these in too long compared to uh, you know how often we used to crank them out. It's probably been about a week, week and a half. I am joined by Bibi. She's probably not going to say much. She'll probably fall asleep during the duration of this if she hasn't already. Uh, but she's here and she's joining us and she's far more important than I am. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, let's get into it with some of the things that uh, that have been going on in the world of Planetside 2 and and my world lately. Um, so first you'll see on screen uh, just a, a image. I realize this is probably not the best way to display this, but if you don't know already, if you haven't checked out their video preview, I will link that in the description as well. Recursion, as you can see up here, has, uh, has developed or is in the process of developing a real-time stat tracker uh, that also functions as an overlay for streams and videos and things like that. Uh, it's a really, really awesome program. I, I wanted to thank them so much for allowing me to participate in the alpha testing of it uh, as one of the only non-recursion members who, who are helping you know, do some QA for it, uh, as well as getting to enjoy using it and uh, giving them feedback and having my stream viewers give feedback and things like that. So just in case you didn't know about it, you'll see it on, uh, on some of their videos, on some of my video highlights that are updated uh, or uploaded in the near future, uh, and probably on most, if not all, of my streams moving forward. Uh, because it really just is that awesome of a tool. So uh, just real quick, this is just an image of what it might look like with all things uh, you know, happening. Basically this is a spot for a webcam or whatever you want, a spot for a logo or a badge. Um, this is actually a pop-up that isn't always here. It's basically their, their achievement system. Uh, you can get like double kills and multi kills and things like that, as well as, you know, welcome to Planetside. If you kill a BR1, for instance, this pops up. It also plays sounds that are all recorded uh, by Radlock, one of the recursion members and developers on the program. Uh, so it's really just super awesome stuff. Um, it tracks uh, outfit and, and character and server and battle rank and a plethora of stats, basically everything you want from overall character stats to the recent kill board, uh, who you killed, you know, with what weapon, if it was a headshot, what their KD is, uh, and then your, your overall stats for the session and for that particular streak or run that you're on. Uh, what weapon you're using, and this is you know going to be kills, kill death, accuracy, headshot rate, uh, things like that, session timer. They, they're constantly building in new features. It's funny, it, um, we, we talk about it on Mumble most nights, and you know I, I come back to them with suggestions that I have and people, um, viewers of my stream have, and you know they, they pump those changes out like on a daily basis, it seems right now. Uh, it's not available for the public yet, but they're hoping to have it out real soon. Uh, and I'm going to support it to the fullest and, uh, you know, hook you guys up with a link to it and more information uh, whenever that is available. Um, just another note, it is extremely customizable, uh, and not only is it constantly changing on the development side, but it is very customizable itself. Even if you just want to use the stats and you've got some Photoshop experience or whatever, you can use them um, and then, you know, throw your own twist on it. Like, for instance, Shandara was working on this. Uh, and now this is my my stream UI as of uh, as of last night, and uh, we might make some minor tweaks to it. But this is what we've been going forth with, uh, and I really love it. I got a lot of great feedback. Shandara did this using their stats basically uh, with like a, a Chrome semi-transparent uh, background. This is where Twitch chat would normally go. This is where you know the character information would go. This is where my webcam is now. Some space for a ticker down bottom, and then all of the stats up here. So uh, you can do so much to it. Um, you can move things around if you wanted, you know, stats to be in a different place, or if you wanted uh, your name, your character name, and server in that, or the achievement pop up to be in a different place. Uh, it's very modular, very customizable, very awesome. And uh, it's not only for streamers and video makers, but you can uh, you can also run the program. It doesn't interact with the game client at all. Uh, it just pulls data from the API, so you can run it on your computer in a second monitor or whatever if you want to just have a really cool uh, real-time stat tracker for your own play sessions even if you're not a streamer or a youtuber or something like that anyway really awesome news keep an eye out for that i will post some relevant links i'll talk about it some more you'll see it on my stream all the time uh if you want to see it in action it's pretty pretty awesome stuff uh so please do check it out i won't i won't spend any more time just staring at blank images for the time being though other things that are going on. We'll try to go through this quick because there is a lot of stuff uh, that I want to mention. Higby put out a post yesterday uh, talking about the update on game updates for 2014 and moving forward. Long story short, they're going to go back to, to more frequent updates and, and in fact be even more frequent than they ever were before. Uh, we used to be on like the bi-weekly schedule where they would update every other Wednesday usually. Uh, now they're going go to go to update every single Wednesday which is awesome. I love, I love patches even if they're small ones, even if there's only 10, 15, 20 changes, uh, even if there's you know half of them are bug fixes. They're not really that big of a deal. 
Uh, but I still love seeing something new, making it feel like things are getting updated. And it also gives the opportunity for them to make small adjustments first, see how they, they react, whether it's a bug or whether it's a balance issue. Uh, and I think it's a much better model, so I'm really happy to hear that. And we'll, we'll expect to see patches every single week starting next Wednesday, um, as well as a lot more interaction uh, with the public test server like we saw with the, uh, the optimization patches. So we should be able to see, uh, see things on test quite often, interacting with the devs, giving our feedback. Um, and you know, I, 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 just, I, I think it's a good model for, for moving forward with game updates in the future. So looking forward to that uh, very, very much. And we'll get back into some of the, the patch note overview videos on YouTube as well. That can be a weekly thing now on Wednesday, right? Why not? They're making my life easier. Other things really, really, really popular in the news the past week or so is the membership subscription uh, changes. And originally there, there was something else proposed where they took away the 500 station cash and they were going to let you pick an item from the depot. They scrapped all of that. They heard the feedback um, and Smedley basically posted a, a rounded up update uh, that Maggie then put on the forums as well. Uh, just the other day and I wanted to make sure you guys all knew where we were at with the subscription model going forward uh, There's a ton of questions and answers um, Paestro and, and Luperza have both made like a million replies to this thread So uh, be sure to ask your questions or see if somebody else asked them and it was already answered as well But for the time being I'm just going to look at the basic rundown of, uh, of the front page of this essentially so you've got um, the price of the All Access Pass, if you don't know what that is, uh, that's basically membership for all SOE games at once, is being lowered to $15 a month. It was previously higher, I don't know if it was 20 or something along those lines. Um, and uh, basically, there's not a need to subscribe to Planetside and Planetside 2 and EverQuest and EverQuest 2 and EverQuest Next and you know so on and so forth. You just are a SOE subscriber and, and that's the end of the story. So if you're if you're subscribing to Planetside, essentially, uh, my one question that may have been answered, but I don't see it in here, is uh, if I'm paying like ten dollars a month because I got that deal on the Planetside sub, am I going to get all access for ten dollars a month? I'm not sure. Maybe. Um, but either way, even at fifteen dollars a month, it's a really really good deal. Um, there's you know like they said, there's going to only be one SOE membership for all of the games, um, with the exception of maybe the ones that are that are intended for children uh, being being separated and various ways. They're keeping the 500 station cash in, uh, and they're allowing you to use it in any game, obviously. And they're also, on top of that, going to be giving members a 10% discount in all marketplaces. So if you go, you know, you want to buy a 1,000 station cash helmet, it's going to be 900 station cash for you at any given time. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be on sale uh, just for being a, a Planetside sub. And then the same goes as far as rolling over into Planetside 1 or, or EverQuest or, or whatnot. Um, so... You know, I, I think it's nice to be able to log back into Planetside 1 and, and already have that membership. That was something that I mentioned uh, back in the anniversary of Planetside 1 many months back that I thought it would be cool to, to make it so Planetside 2 members at least got access to Planetside 1 uh, without needing that additional subscription. So they're doing that and then much more. Uh, if you're interested in EverQuest Next or EverQuest Next Landmark or any of the other existing games, uh, this is going to be really awesome for you too. And even if you're not, there is a secret project. <laughs> that uh, us, us public folk don't really know anything about. If I had to guess, I'd say it's whatever Jimmy Wisenhunt is working on. Uh, Smedley said that Planetside players will probably like it. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means if it's another FPS. Um, I wouldn't think it would be wise for them to do a completely new FPS franchise, but perhaps an extension on Planetside, like Planetside Arena Mode or Planetside something, or maybe a Planetside expansion even, although I don't know if they would keep that so hush-hush. Anyway, that's that's up to your imagination to decide what it might be. It could be a completely different genre that they don't really have a foothold in, such as RTS or MOBAs um, that are also competitive. I'm not really sure. I'm hoping it has something to do with first-person shooters personally, and uh, hoping even more that it has something to do with Planetside and that franchise. But anyway, there is there is stuff for everyone. Um, nobody's really losing out as far as I can tell. Uh, we're keeping everything we're used to. We're getting that much more in, in the sense of other games uh, that we have access to as a member, uh, as well as the 10% discount now. Uh, nothing's changing for Player Studio, because um, I know that that was a big concern as well, and it might be handled differently as needed for console titles, uh, just because they don't have the station cash system the same way. But anyway, give your feedback, uh, give your thoughts, and uh, I personally think it sounds great. I know the, the original model sparked a, a bit of controversy, but I'm really liking how this looks, so... Uh, looking forward to it, and I believe it's changing the beginning the first week in February, so we've got that to look forward to in uh, just under a month. 
Moving on from that, just a couple other things that you'll want to remember. Friday Night Ops is on this week, as most weeks, uh, Friday night at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific, on twitch.tv slash planetside2. Uh, as with most weeks these weeks, uh, we are doing player discussion panels. Uh, I opted out of the last one so that uh, folks who wanted to, to speak about the particular topic could get their words in. Uh, but I will be back on this week, uh, along with Atrion and Rel, um, uh, and we're also being joined by Scourge of the Server and uh, Cardi, um, two, two players that have, uh, have never been on the panel before, so that'll be pretty cool. Uh, we're going to be discussing, discussing uh, progression um, and how it, how it you know, uh, both player progression as well as long term, uh, probably talk some directives and achievements and uh, reasons to play both a specific character and multiple characters uh, beyond a certain point and the cert grind and so on and so forth, BR100, blah blah blah. Uh, we should have a really, really lot of uh, great point of views on the topic and uh, you guys should definitely tune in and check that out. Uh, even if we weren't, you should watch it anyway because FNO is a great show to tune into every week uh, on Friday nights. So I probably should have said this first, I don't actually have a tab open for it, but Command Center, second Thursday, uh, you can actually see it here. Command Center every second Thursday of the month at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Tomorrow, uh, Thursday, January 9th, is the second Thursday of January 2014. So it will be on with uh, Tramel and Matt Higby over at the same channel, twitch.tv slash planetside2. Definitely tune into that. It's a great, great show. Uh, it's so funny and so great and wonderful to watch. You often learn a lot of things. You laugh a lot. Uh, they give away station cash, so on and so forth. Uh, it's a good time, so don't miss out on that one either. And, oh, the recruit rewards. If you guys ran into an issue, I know a few of you did, uh, that were trying to use my recruit link. You said, hey, it, it's, uh, it says that there's a maintenance issue or something like that over the past couple of weeks. I actually also ran into that issue. I couldn't claim rewards. I was getting the same maintenance error. Uh, it is a bug. They know about it and uh, it looks like the issue will be fixed shortly. So if you were one of the people that were trying to create a new account or log into an inactive account, uh, be it with my link or somebody else's, that should be fixed very soon and you can, uh, you can get your recruit rewards links established, new, new accounts created, and uh, if you are a recruiter, uh, you can go back to claiming your rewards as well. And last but not least, this is a long one, I need to do this more frequently again. It's like all of this stuff, you know, people got back to work after their two-week vacation and, oh, there's a million things going on. Uh, I took a, took a play out of uh, Rel's playbook and uh, created a Steam group the other night, just kind of on a whim. Uh, I was watching one of Rel's videos where he talked about it and I was like, you know what, I'll make one. I'm not sure if people are going to use it. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. Uh, let me just create one and, you know, throw a quick description and, and title in it and I'll just hit the button to invite friends. And then, like, Overnight, there's 105 members. People are talking and discussing and things like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I think Steam groups tend to be, you know, something that people want uh, these days. Oh, there goes BB. Um, and uh, we we have one for me now. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with it, but I'll keep up with the discussions and the events and the announcements. I don't want to get spammy where I'm spamming people every day with announcements or anything like that. Uh, but I think it'll be a good forum for for anybody who wants to discuss things relating to my stream or my social media or or YouTube or anything like that. So uh, feel free to join it. It's public. Uh, it's just, it's Murda is the name of the group. You can search it in Steam or I'll include this link as well. Just hit that join group button and uh, start discussing or doing whatever it is that people do in Steam groups. Uh, as always, that's it. And uh, just slam my keyboard. I'm really dysfunctional today, so I apologize. Uh, thanks for the support, guys. Have a good one. Be sure to tune into the stream over at itsmurda.com. Check out that new, very, very awesome Recursion uh, real-time stat tracker with Shandara's uh, GUI that she's put in place for me. Uh, so a lot of really awesome stuff going on. I will see you guys there. Have a good one.